Hello, everybody. This is Bob Anderson, and today is October 23rd, 2024. And um, this video is about the trades that I have been taking recently, uh, meaning now that I'm using a, a funded account, not a PA account. Um, but what I want to do also later this week, I'm going to do a detailed video. I'm probably going to use today's price action. I'm going to use a detailed video discussing the trades that I would take if I was using Apex, for example, for, for a PA, not for an eval. Apparently, evaluations don't mean anything anymore. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyway, so, you, you know, you could you could just take one trade and let it go and pass an eval and then next thing you know, but what, but because they have new rules or expanded rules or whatnot about PAs, I think it's important for me to, to sit here and explain to you my trading style that I used in PA accounts so that you can, you also can hopefully follow that kind of thought process to get funded. But what I do with my funded account is a little different because I'm, I'm not as concerned about price whipping back and knocking me out. I just want to stay on the right side of a trade. Okay. So right now I want to talk about that today. So like today is the, today I took two trades in the NQ, but why did I take these two trades? Well, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to explain that to you. Then I'm going to show you some trades in, in oil that were that mirrored exactly what was going on in the NQ. I'm going to show you a trade in the RTY that mirrored exactly what was going on in the NQ. And all of those trades would have made you significant amounts of money <clears throat> if you were trading. This, this simple basic strategy that I talk about. Again, it's price action based, but I basically use just two lines I'm concerned about. <clears throat> One is the overnight open and the other is the five minute red line, which is this right here, which this is a one minute chart. So I've adjusted it with 105 setting. The settings on all on this chart are down below in the description. So you can create it exactly the same chart as me for free. And um and you know possibly open it up and see price action things that you yourself might fit into your trade tolerance okay so anyway so what i want to do is i just want to quickly show you some charts show you some of the things I'm, i was looking at when i took these two trades both of them made money but one of them made a lot more money <laughs> um so let's talk about that oh and by the way at the end of this video I actually videotaped me taking these two trades live. So you'll get to see me taking them and what I was thinking as I was in the trades and what my why I picked my targets and all that kind of stuff. Okay. That's after that's after this little segment right here, me just going over charts. So one of the things, so this is the NQ, and I'll talk about it first. So we have, you know, this is the overnight, you know. This is all pre-market, but look at this, look at this. This is your five minute red line. Bam, down, bam, down, bam, down. Rolled through, didn't bam down. Rolled up, didn't roll up. Came down, sat up inside it, bam, down. Rolled up, kind of got saucy in here. Saucy in here, this is the kind of stuff I try to stay away from where it's, where it's not showing uh, a significant move up or significant move down before it comes to my five minute red line okay and then and then of course we get to um we get to where it just blew right on through at about 8 30. i'm not really sure why i think there was news at 10. so i don't know what happened at 8 30 but anyway it blew right on through there at 8 30 and it just started running and then the market opened. Now, if you don't think that this five minute red line has any importance, <laughs> then you're not paying attention. Look at the market. <clears throat> it literally opened right here. Boom, right to it. Bam, straight back down. 
Again, it's kind of like the overnight open. The more you have to reach for it, the more I find that it actually works, the trade. The more price reaches for that five minute red line, the more it stretches to get to it, the more likely when it when it's when it when you when you have an entry, it's gonna slam it right back the other way. So if you'll notice, bam. So one of the things I talk about when I when I'm trying to do my trading is are the is the price action respecting my lines? If it's not respecting my lines, then I'm just fooling myself thinking that the next time it goes to that line, it's going to finally respect it. You know what I mean? You it's again, it's patterns are are, are the lines being respected. So here we are at the open boom. Bam down. Now we've come back, come back, come back, come back. There it is again. Ticked right through it down. Okay, now these are not setups I'm looking for, but the line, the nine, the 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 the, the five five minute gold line, five minute red line is being respected. <laughs> there is, I mean, this is like magic numbers out of nowhere. Bam, bam. Okay, so now I'm sitting there going, okay, this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Now, one of the things I'm looking at. I want to get past 10 o'clock. I want the market to still be moving with commitment, but not moving like it's on spazoid mode. Okay. I want to be able to know where I'm getting in, know why I'm getting in. I don't want to have to just react. Okay. That's just me. That's my trading style. I don't like, I don't like the eh, stuff. Okay. I like to, I like to have a rhythmic pattern to what I'm looking at. Okay. So one of the things I noticed right here was from the overnight open down to this bottom. I put, I drew this arrow in here on purpose. We're not far away. Okay. We're not far away. So since we're not far away, I'm thinking to myself, if we cross over rotate back north of the five minute red line, there's a likelihood we're going to run back to the overnight open. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Based on just, again, patterns. Have you seen this movie before? Okay. Patterns, just patterns, just routine patterns. If the market is way away from the overnight open, then the likelihood of that is very slim to none. You would be looking for a false break, rotation back, pullback, gone. That's off the red line. I'll show you one of those here in a minute. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're after 10 o'clock. Remember that. <clears throat> okay. Now all of a sudden, oh shoot, we're creating consolidation. See these dots showing you tops and bottoms. We're, we're creating consolidation here. We don't like consolidation. We don't like consolidation if we're looking for price to go back to the red line, we want it to do it in a, in, a, in a direct authoritative move. I'll show you those direct authoritative moves here in a second in oil. Okay. So I'm kind of like, eh, and we've created a pivot here that's higher than this pivot here, which is a do, which is a daily low. Okay. This was this move from this, this move, from this five minute red line down to here, probably about $1,500, one contract. Okay. But I didn't take it. I didn't take it. Okay. I wish I had, but I didn't take it. But anyway, so down we go, roll up, you know, creating this top. It's not that big a deal per se, as long as the five minute red line can come down, but it's way up here. So I'm a little nervous now. And then, but then we create a bottom. So let's follow this. Now we're running up to the red line. Okay. Now, um, pattern, pattern shows you that this red line, based off of the fact it has been to a daily low, is possibly going to go short. 
okay? But we like to take a conservative approach to this. So a conservative approach to this is a break of a candle to the short side. I personally didn't even put a trade on the screen because I didn't like that we created this consolidation box and then broke out of it. I just, I didn't like that, okay? I'm just stating, but let's keep going. Did we, did we break the bottle, bottle? Once this pierced the red line, are we gonna break the bottom of that candle? There's another one, nope. Okay, now we're completely north of the five minute red line. So any possibility of a short wouldn't be taking it anyways. Now, I personally didn't even have one on the, on the screen, okay? But let's talk about what I started looking at now. Okay, so what I started looking at now is I'm looking at this right here. And I'm looking at the fact that we've rotated from a pit from a higher pivot, a couple of them actually, than we did from here across the red line. And if we can sit on top of that red line, I'm looking for a long back to the overnight open. That's me. Okay. As long as we create space from this crossover. So did we create some space? Yeah, we, we got a couple candles in a row. There's space between here and here. We're well after 10 o'clock, yada, yada, yada. We're not far from here. Now, in the grand scheme of things, from here to here is probably a good couple grand or so on one contract, okay? But let's, let's see what happens here. So then we go down, down, and now we've pierced right here. So let's, ah, bah, 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 how did you screw this up? Sorry, folks. Here we go. So we pierced, let me, Jesus, let me blow this up too. So we, okay, there. So we pierced here. So when this candle closed, I had a long sitting here. Nothing happened. When this candle closed, I had a long sitting here. Okay, nothing happened. Yes, it did. Okay, that candle, then we're in. Okay, so now we're in. I took my stop and put it below the pivot. This entry, this pivot right here, this pivot low. So what did that mean? I kind of calculated it roughly in my head. I was risking about $240 if it slammed down, took me out. But remember, I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for a bigger move because that five minute red line creates big moves. That's a big move. If you followed the back of these candles, all the way down. I mean, come on, man. Did you see how much money that made? Okay, so I'm in long, all right? And I videotaped that trade right here, okay? So here we go. And we just kind of sat there. Mm. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> so we sat there. Now my nine EMA, which came across here, my nine EMA is my hopeful helper. It's going to hopefully push price up for me, okay, so that I can manage my stop. So here we go. Remember, I'm risking 240 bucks. Okay, okay. Now what I'm looking for, oh, please go up. I'm looking for it to pierce this this pivot that has now been created to my left. And then I want it to pierce these pivots over here to my left. And then possibly even this one, I'm, this is all me talking out loud, and then rotate back to my nine EMA for me to add another contract so that I have profit on the first one, add a second one, and I move my stop to break even or above, okay? And hopefully have that rotation back to the overnight open. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, okay, bam, there's the first one. All right, we broke that pivot. Now I need it to, I need it to pierce these pivots right here. Let's see, nothing, not, okay. This donkey and channel is a sign. It tells me that we've pierced these, okay? I can see that now, all right? And we sat on the nine EMA and down we went and took me out.
rat farts. Absolute rat farts. So let's talk about what happened next. What happened next is you got this pivot low here that rotated it up. We're going to cross. If we bust through here, now I was still looking to re-enter long, by the way. When this happened and I got knocked out, I'm fine. Now I'm still looking to re-enter long because now we have a new donkey in. And this is a very smooth pullback to the five-minute red line. So I'm still looking long. I have no reason. For a re-entry. I have no reason to look for a short until this happened. Oh, okay. And then we'll play it all out, play it all out, play it all out, play it all out. We broke this pivot right here that rotated this up, came down, substantial space. I'm looking for a pullback to my red line, looking for a pullback to my red line, looking for a pullback to my red line. There we are. Boom. Pierce the red line, short the break of that candle, down goes Frazier. Bam, target. Now, I should have played the target to the daily low. Okay? That's just, that's being honest. I should have played it to the daily low, but I got nervous with these couple pivots right here, so I did put it here. Should have played it to the daily low. Anyways, those are my trades there. That's using the five-minute red line and noticing pivot breaks and rotations so that I can get into bigger trades. Let's quickly pull oil over so I can show you that. Hold on here. Let me get it. Let me show you what oil did today. Oh, my God. Look at oil. Now, is oil respecting the five-minute red line? Well, let me, let me ask you. Do you, do you see us get a new donkey and high? Do you see us pull back to the gold line? Do you see it go create another donkey and high? Do you see it pull back? Do you see it create another donkey and high? Do you see it pull back? Do you see it create another donkey and high? Do you see it pull back? Do you see it go again right at the open? This is, this is the open. This is the open candle, just like the NQ. This is the open candle. And it reached, slammed, reversed, wham! Guess where it went to? Can anybody guess? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. That's right. It went to the overnight open. Now, 1030, oil inventory report. You don't want anything to do with oil, right? I don't want anything to do with oil at 1030. Watch this. So then you get the oil inventory report. Oh, I need to blow this up again. So you get the oil inventory report. Blows, this is the oil inventory report right here. Blows right through your red line. Just blows through all your pivots that rotated up. By the way, I don't have my pivot swings on here. I should have them on. I don't have the swings on here on this chart like I did on the NQ. Anyways, watch this. Right here. Watch this. Watch it again from a new low. Now, are those red lines working? I'd say so. Let's just quickly show, let's just quickly show you the one in the RTY. The RTY right here, right here. You had your slam crossover after ten o'clock. You had news. You had news. Slammed crossover rolled up. There's your five minute red line, bam, through your daily low. Okay, so it helps you locate spaces, places where I, where I expect significant rotation. But you got to be able to take those trades, let them work their way to target, and not get, you know, a trailing drawdown that snaps you in the head uh, when it, if it rotates against you. That's 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 the that's the problem with trying to do that in a big price, you know, meaning big profits uh, that you can't do, say, in a prop firm if it rotates back and snaps you in the head. OK, now what I'm going to do, probably release it maybe Friday or something. I'm going to do a detailed video of the trades I would specifically be looking for 
to get your PA accounts to funded status. I mean, it's, 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 I'm, and I'm going to go in detail why this, why this one minute gold line trade is not a good setup. And I'm going to do it at candle by candle. And we're going to see if the damn thing works or not. Okay. Everybody have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. This is a trade that first trade I've taken of the day. It's uh, an NQ trade. Uh, <clears throat> but what I, the reason I'm videotaping it is I was just, I had a lot of people ask me, well, what, what, when you say you're looking for a swing trade, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, again, this is, this is with a, not with a PA account. This is with a live account. So what I'm looking for is, for example, I want the market to not be too far down or too far up because <clears throat> I don't want to be counter trend trading. Okay. For example, now this can rotate and go the other way too. So this is not a one way trade, but I don't want it to be too far down or too far up so that I can, you know, justify rotating, say, back to the, to the, to the overnight open. I want it to be after 10 o'clock. I want it to be when the market's kind of calmed and settled. And now it's going to start hopefully creating some sort of a trend. So I don't want a flat market. I want a market that's kind of trending. The other thing I want to do is I want to, I want to notate where I recognize where I believe the market is rotating either the rejection of this long off the red line where it rotates back down, comes back in and then does a short or a rotation of the long this way because we've shown signs that the downward trend is over. How do we show signs that the downward trend is over? Well, we push down, go up, push down, create a new pivot, rotate up, all this kind of action right here where we've created a shelf. And then on the, on the test down, we rotate up and we break that shelf. Oh shoot, here we are. Let me, let me, let me pay attention to this, by the way. <laughs> Let me pay attention to this. So, um, so what I'm looking for is like this consolidation zone where we break out of it and then we cross the red line, sit on top of it and then go. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So I, I, and it's after 10 o'clock at matter of fact, I entered this trade at uh, 1040. Okay. So now what I'm going to look for, if I can, if I can, I see I got a lot of headwinds up here. See all these pivots to the left? There's a lot of pressure right here that's prob that prob we're probably going to run into to keep us from getting, you know, say up to the overnight open. I'm not saying I'm going to go to the overnight open, but I just had to get the target out of the way. Again, this is about being patient in these trades. It's not about, this is different. I, I can't do this with a PA that, um, you know, that I've got to pay attention to how much money, I, if I make too much money or if I, you know, lose too much money or whatnot. Like for example, my stop down here, I, I wanted to put it below the entry pivots after I got in. So I'm down here like a $240 stop. Now, this is very promising that we broke this pivot to the left, this one right here, initially. What would be more promising is if we broke this donkey and channel before we came back and tested this nine. And if we would kind of pierce this donkey and channel, then rotate back to the nine, that's where I would be looking to add another contract. So let me put that on here. Let me just have that on the chart. Order submitted. Let me have a buy up here that I can drag. All right. So that's what, oh, there we go. Okay. 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 This is, 
This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. And of course, the freaking landscaper had to just show up. I hope you guys don't hear the lawnmower in the background. Sorry if you do. I mean, it is 1047. I guess the grass is dry enough to cut. But anyways, um, so now what I want to do is I just want to kind of put myself in a position where I'm not going to lose money. You know, I don't want to lose money. All right, because, we, we, you know, we're, we're on a run here. And are we going to get a run run? I don't know. I mean, you know, the signs are there. We've pushed. We've broken multiple of these pivots to the left, this one and this one. We're coming back. So if we sit on that 9 EMA right here, I'll be looking to take it to add another contract possibly. Let's just, I, I, personally, I wanted to take off more. That's me personally, because I still have bigger pivot over here. This this donkey and helps me see that there is another pivot over here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this one later and this one, these two in particular. But uh, let's see. Let's just see if I can get this thing to run some more. <clears throat> um, ah, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, my objective in this is 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 to try to get as mo the most I can out of what I consider these rotations, these swings, because th these are these in my world are perceived to be bigger trades than the um, than say the uh, you know the one minute gold line. I'm trying to see a one minute gold line trade. Uh, this might have been one right here where you're kind of looking to go back into, you know, the place that it pivoted from here. I'm looking, I've got a bigger fish to fry, which is my five minute red line. So I'm looking for a, I'm looking for the market to rotate I'm looking for the market to go the opposite direction. Now, why the opposite direction? Well, because honestly, one of the things that happens unless the market has a, Unless the, unless the market has, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Unless the market has a huge down day or a huge up day, I find many, many, many times the market rotates back to the overnight open. That's exactly what oil did today before the oil inventory report. And as a matter of fact, the trade I'm talking about right here, oil did it to perfection. I'm going to show that in a little bit. It did it earlier to perfection, absolutely perfection, the trade that I'm sitting here trying to take right now. So let's just see if I can. Now I'm going to watch this timer down here. Remember, this is the timer. And I'm going to possibly take along here, add another contract, the break of this candle. If, if we close, four, three, two, one. All right, let me put that right there. Damn it. Come on. Come on, nine. Really need that nine EMA to hold here. Really need that nine EMA to hold here. Come on. <clears throat> really need that nine EMA to hold here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Rotate. Rotate. This will allow us to, to act. Oh, shit. Didn't work. Well, I got knocked out. <sighs> Suck. Now, this isn't this isn't the end of everything, because now what we've done is we've created a new a new donkey and high and a rotation back to the five minute red line. So. I'm going to prepare myself in case we get another get another entry. I want this to pierce here. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Come on. Pierce. I'm really excited that the landscaper showed up. 
I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's just, you know, it's, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's a requirement that all landscapers have the loudest machines possible. That is a requirement of being a landscaper. Here he comes. He's going to drive right by. Anyways, so I'm watching this. Okay, so now we're sitting here, sitting here. Ah, not looking good. Nope. All right, dead. So now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for us to come back down. This will be this will, this is our new shelf right here to the on the on the low side. Okay, this is my new shelf to the low side. So since we've vehemently pushed down, looking for us to possibly rotate up to the bottom of the the five minute red line. I need it to rotate, though. I need it to rotate with authority. I need it to make a decision that we're going south. Wow, I'm just so excited that landscaper's here. You know, it comes once a week, and it's when I freaking start doing a live. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right. All right. All right. So this shelf right here that pushed this price up to here has now been broken to the downside. And we're below the red line. So if we can get a rotation, a nice aggressive rotation back to the red line, I'm going to look to take the short back down to the daily low. Okay. that That's going to be my 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 trade of choice. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna stop this and, and, and I'll start it again if, it, uh, if it's going to actually do that. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully we'll get a rotation. <laughs> We broke this pivot here, back down to the downside, then we're back up into the red line. So we're going to see if we can get a continuation short down to the daily, uh, down to the daily low. Come on. Push up. I want it to push up a little more. <clears throat> I would like it to push up a little more. So that we have a clear. Clear sign that it tried to break to the long side. Order filled. All right. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to put this here, <clears throat> and I'm going to bring this down here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm, I'm, I'm far less confident that this is going to run down to the daily low. But... I mean, maybe I can get down to these pivots right here. That'd be a pretty good trade right there. If I can get down to these pivots right here. All right, come on. Come on. All right, let's 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 just make sure we don't... We're on the right side of the 9 EMA. So I'm just going to make sure we don't lose any money. Okay, come on. Come on. Push. Let's go. This is actually a really, really solid move. I didn't expect it to move this. I really didn't expect it to move this, uh, this adamantly, but this is good. It just doesn't give me a place. It doesn't give me a pivot spot when it runs that fast. Um, Come on. 
Let's go. Let's go, NQ. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, come on. Obviously, there's going to be a potential resistance right here. Why is everybody texting me while I'm working? All right, here we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, huh. <sighs> now, obviously, I'm not looking for a place to add in right now. If we can break, now let's talk about that. If we break this pivot here and then rotate to the nine EMA, then I'd be looking for it. If that makes sense. Because if we break this pivot right here that was created and then roll up into the nine EMA, I'll look for, I'll look to add a contract down to my bigger area here. But right at this moment, it's, it's obviously not doing that. <clears throat> Jace, come on. Man, come on. Hopefully this nine helps. <clears throat> it is, it's pushing a little. You can see the nine pushing it back down. See the nine push it down when it touched it there? Hopefully that can hold. If this rotates down, I'm gonna make my stop right up in here. Come on, rotate, rotate. Come on, rotate. Here we go, all right, 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 <clears throat> all right. All right, come on. All right, I'm gonna put my stop there. Lock in something, something positive, but it's not what I'm trying to get to. Come on. Come on, NQ. I personally have no idea how much profit this target is. At this point, I'd say probably about seven, $800, something like that. But I'm not looking at a dollar amount. I'm looking at places that I'm expecting, you know, us to have a problem. If if we're in if we're in a short, the first place is right here. <laughs> but I want to try to make more money than that. I want to try to give it some room. There you go. Okay, so we've pierced. Now we've pierced this this spot to the left. So what we could potentially look for, which I'm not giving myself much room to do it, but all right, here we go, here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, come on. If you're just gonna slam down, that'd be fine with me. Come on. If you're just gonna slam down, that'd be fine with me. Go, 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 go. Go to my next pivot area. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, NQ, you can do this. I know you can. Ah, 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 ah. There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Man, it's reaching. Uh, I'm, oh, man, 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 man. Not good. Come on. Nope, not good. Dang it. That was terrible on my part. Terrible. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There you go.
Come on. Not looking. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. We're at six. Seven. Come on. Go to big number. I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it flip this candle. It either does it or it doesn't. I'm, I'm not going to let it flip this candle. Target. Bam. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go.